This segment brought to you by Bob Schwartz Financial. Values, commitment, transparency. I'm Dwayne Thames, and my guest today is Trent Blythe with Level Creek Outfitters. Trent, tell us how you got started in the guided hunt and outfitting business. Stage one was just getting the hunters here and getting them comfortable. So we put up a 20 by 35 or so hunting shed, that I call it, and we had local carpenters do the main structure and the concrete floor and that whole nine yards. And then my dad and my brothers and I, we had a bunch of old tin from one of our older barns and we kind of lined the walls and insulated and did all the wiring and that kind of thing. And then we have a nice wood stove in there, but that's kind of the main structure with the TV and a good little sit down area to eat and hang out. From there, we went from 100 birds that first year, I started raising them. Each year we've grown up to now 2,000, but I have my own flight pen and brooder room. I get them as day old chicks, then about a month old, we move them outside and then they spend the rest of their time in a flight pen. Very little human contact so we can make them as wild as possible. Otherwise, the different accommodations that we have, I send the guys to Council Grove called the Cottage House to stay the night. Those are really great people that own that. I've gotten to be pretty good friends with them and uh, we bounce clients back and forth, but that would be where they stay the night if they want to hunt the whole weekend just about 20 minutes away from my place. And then I bring them back to the hunting shed and provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then they can hang out and watch any football game or basketball game that's on TV and just enjoy themselves in between hunts. Let's talk a little bit about uh, bird raising. Uh, I suspect uh, it was maybe different than, than feeding show heifers, but maybe more complicated at times. You're definitely right on more complicated, um, or at least it seemed like to me those first few years. I'm still learning the ropes four years into it, but said I got them as day old chicks, so that means they're 24 hours old and they're shipped to me. And from there, you put them in a temperature controlled room, roughly 92 degrees on the ground. You gotta bed it down and have food and water everywhere, basically, so they're just tripping over it. And then a nice ventilation fan in order to keep the low humidity. That's a pretty important part, keep the chicks dry. From there, as I said, they stay in there for probably three weeks and then they move to another room and you put what's called blinders on them, which I compare to a small sleeping mask. It just keeps them from pecking each other and it doesn't allow them to see directly forward. They can see down and backward, but mainly is to keep them from cannibalistic tendencies and pecking each other because they'll get pretty rough and tear each other up pretty bad. That's where the blinders come into play. And then at a month old, we put them outside and really the management from there is pretty easy. Keep the feeders and the waterers full and pick them up whenever it's time to go hunting, whenever the season starts. I'm Bob Swartz and I've devoted the last 43 years to helping Kansans reach their retirement goals and to protect the family farm. At Bob Swartz Financial, we believe everyone should be able to live the retirement they've always dreamed of. Our team of professionals can help you create an efficient strategy using a variety of investment vehicles to help you address your financial needs and your concerns. Bob Swartz Financial values, commitment, and transparency.